It's Kim. And in news that surprises absolutely no one, Kevin Federline has continued to be human garbage. Before we get super into it, I just want to say thank you so much for checking out this video. Please consider liking, commenting, subscribing, all the YouTube -y things. I appreciate you. So hip hop prodigy and freeloader of the century, Mr. Popo Zhao, has been in the news this week. So Kevin Federline and his lawyer, Mark Vincent Kaplan, are back in the news again for doing the thing that they seem to be the best at, trying to humiliate Britney Spears and squeeze as much money out of her as possible. So Britney and Kevin have two kids together, and through the mess of the conservatorship, Kevin has physical custody of the boys. Reportedly, Brittany has been paying at least 20 grand a month to Kevin to parent his own children. And a couple of years ago, Kevin took Brittany back to court for an increase. And we don't have an exact concrete number, but according to Brittany on Instagram, it's 40 grand a month. This is separate from the reported 1.3 million that Brittany paid Kevin in their divorce settlement. Brittany has also paid for all of Kevin's custody litigation bills, and that is in the hundreds of thousands of dollars as well. So for those of you following along at home, we are looking at probably a minimum of $5 million over the past 15 years. Now that number is based on legal documents I've seen as well as reporting, and my speculation makes me think that the actual number is higher. $5 million is quite conservative. Now I've said this before, when it comes to situations regarding custody disputes or divorces with children, I plant myself firmly in the teen kids section. I don't want to talk about Britney's kids. I don't think it's right. I feel like the boys should be entitled to their privacy, and I hate seeing literally the whole world judging them and their relationship with their mother. I genuinely want the best for them, and I hope that the relationships that they have right now that are fractured can be healed. But then there is Kevin, and every time I think he can't go any lower, he does. I mean, Kevin has dug through the crust. We are at least at mantle at this point. I mean, in the past year, Kevin Federline has defended Jamie Spears on multiple occasions, particularly to do with the conservatorship, and then also after Jamie Spears attacked his own child. And the incident was so bad that there actually was a restraining order filed against Jamie for years. Add to that that now apparently the two of them are writing a parenting book, which you know I'm sure is going to be absolutely revolutionary and will help parents for generations. He then leaked videos of Britney parenting her children in an attempt to destroy her reputation. However, that completely backfired and most of society sided with her. And then Kevin continued to use his underage sons as pawns in the media by using them in a tell-all interview that aired internationally. And that brings us to this week where Kevin has once again decided to go lower. Now, based on my speculation and what I've seen reported, it seems like Kevin Federline is starting to stress about where his next paycheck is going to come from when the boys age out of the system. And this week it has been reported that Kevin is actually being sued for $15,000 by the private school that his daughters attend. Keep in mind, Kevin actually has six children, and as far as we know, no job. So according to a report from TMZ, shocker, Mark Kaplan, Kevin's lawyer, is reporting that Brittany has been blocking Kevin from being able to move. Reportedly, he wants to move the boys to Hawaii. And of course, if Kevin doesn't get his way, he is going to take Brittany to court, which we found out about through this piece on TMZ. I gotta say, threatening your ex-wife like this is really gross. Now, this is problematic for a number of reasons, but the main problem that I keep seeing from Brittany fans is that Hawaii has different laws when it comes to child support. In the state of Hawaii, child support can be extended till the child is 23 years of age if they remain in school. Now, something I do want to point out is I'm seeing a lot of outlets saying that Britney fans have these bizarre theories when it comes to Hawaii. And to those outlets, I say a very fast Google search would have shown you that this actually is not a theory. It is legitimate information. I've got the website here for the state of Hawaii and their information regarding child support. And if I scroll down here on this page, it's, it's crazy. It's really, really crazy. Here it is. Oh my goodness. Wow. It's almost like the Britney Army's really good at checking for legal receipts. It's not like it's something we've ever had to do before. And quite bluntly, I think it is bizarre that any of you would run a story saying that we're the crazy ones when you're not even bothering to do a Google search about it. I'm embarrassed for you. 
Now, as far as Brittany blocking the boys from going to Hawaii, Rosengard has responded to Kaplan's statement. Apparently, he sent him a letter. And I really want to find the original of this letter, print it out, and frame it, because it is beautiful. So according to Page Six, who has obtained the letter, Rosengart says he did not anticipate a dispute when Kaplan first contacted him about the move in April, sharing that he urged his counterpart at the time to keep the matter private for the sake and dignity of all parties involved, including the children. He went on the letter to say, I was particularly concerned because your client previously and appallingly violated their privacy while egregiously violating Britney's privacy by releasing a private video of Britney with her children, which was preceded by a tabloid television interview. Rosengard then went on to slam Kaplan for talking to media outlets, including TMZ and Entertainment Tonight, earlier this month about Federline threatening to take Spears to court if she did not approve the move to Hawaii, where his wife, Victoria Prince, has received a job offer. It was more than disappointing that you nevertheless chose to publicize the matter, creating unnecessary drama and a fake dispute by publicly discussing the issue and your letter. When I called you yesterday to express my dismay that you had done so, you denied doing so. Apparently, you didn't realize that TMZ's May 30th story itself literally quotes you as the story's source. Shout out, lying, always lying to me. Wow. You lying so much. Wow. Rosengard says that Kaplan's interviews served no good faith purpose, calling them undignified, ungracious, and unnecessary. It was also ironic given the statement in your April 28th letter that in addition to an employment opportunity in Hawaii for Mr. Federline's wife, the children wanted to be more sheltered from media scrutiny. That is commendable. But your media interview did nothing to shelter them. Instead, it publicized the issue in the media. And Rosengard concluded his letter by praising his Grammy award-winning client as an icon, loved and respected by millions throughout the world, as well as a loving and supportive mother, faithfully supporting her children despite their estrangement. Kevin. Kaplan. Stop it. Get some help. It really takes effort to make yourself look like this much of a joke. Kaplan, of all people, should know better. Rosengart is a formal federal prosecutor and is considered the Hollywood king of litigation. Mark Kaplan knows he is punching up. And honestly, this whole thing reminds me of something that Sam wrote on his Instagram last year. The boys are very smart and will soon be 18, soon to make their own decisions and may eventually realize the tough part was having a father who hasn't worked much in over 15 years as a role model. Kevin's gravy train will end soon, which probably explains the timing of these hurtful statements. I do not know him personally, and I have nothing against him, aside him choosing to vilify my wife. His character is revealed by his approval of the cruel 13-year conservatorship, and his loyalty to Jamie indicates his approval at the time of its conception as well. Things that are now considered normal issues and behavior easily dealt with therapy or other ways were magnified to justify a 13-year prison sentence. Anyone approving of it is wrong or benefiting from it somehow. I will not comment on this matter again, except to say, I have a job. Then he came on later and said this. I wish him the best and hope he has a more positive outlook in the future for benefit of all involved. But for now, keep my wife's name out your mouth. The truth of all of this is going to come out. I hope for healing. I genuinely want the best for Brittany and her kids, and maybe the distance between the two of them will help. And from the outside looking in, it really looks like Kevin is doing everything in his power to make this divide bigger. Eventually, it will backfire. Karma is coming. Well, that's it. Much love. Bye. It's Kim. Yeah. <laughs> That's the take. That's the one. <laughs>